Telly Mini Movie is called My Boss is My Ex-Boyfriend by Lily Trescott MSP. A original video will be in the description down below. Hi, my name's Beatrix, and I'm going to tell you about my life. Beatrix, dinner is ready! Coming, Dad! That's my dad. We live alone together. My mother passed away when I was a little girl. I don't remember much of her, but her passing affected my dad a lot. Why were you late to the table again? I was studying. Give me a break. What did I tell you about studying too much, Beatrix? You need to give yourself a break. Well, I want to make sure I'm able to get a stable job for the future, Dad. I don't want to struggle with money problems like we do right now. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for not being able to give you the childhood you deserve. I'm going to get some rest. You haven't had your dinner? I'm not hungry. Good night. Yes, we're a poor family, but my dad actually used to be a lawyer. However, my mom's passing took a huge toll on him, and he wasn't working well. He was fired, and we were homeless for a while until he found a job somewhere. One day, I'll have enough money to get me and my father a good life. But until then, I have to study as hard as I can to get a good job. Although, life seems rough. At school, I have two decent friends I always hang out with. I've never told them about my dad being poor, however. They still think he's a lawyer and we're a happy family. How's your dad doing? Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> I heard he lost his job. What? Uh, no, he didn't. <laughs> Some people have been saying he's not a lawyer anymore. That's all lies. But there was someone I truly liked at school. Ben, my boyfriend. Hey, babe. I've never told him about my life either. I didn't want to lose him. He was the only one that could make me feel happy after a horrible day. So that's how my life was every day study meet my friends hang out with my boyfriend to go home and study yeah it wasn't the best but it still ran smoothly and it wasn't too frustrating until one day uh, we didn't have anything for breakfast today i'm so hungry i just forget it dad might be able to afford to get something when i get home i hope hey guys <laughs> Sorry, I just can't stop laughing. <laughs> hey, what's so funny? Like you wouldn't know. I really don't. It's all over Instagram. Oh, wait, I forgot. You don't have a phone. Oh, uh, well, my dad's gonna get me one next week. Yeah. Is he going to get that for you out of the trash, too? <laughs> what? Look. Oh, it was a video of my dad taking food from the trash. Tears flooded my eyes as I was so embarrassed. My father had to take food from the trash so he can even eat. How many times has he done this before and hasn't told me? I recorded him. How could my own best friends laugh at me right now? Their laughs surrounded my mind and covered my ears. And suddenly, anger took over me. Ah, the little baby is crying. <laughs> How could you? I thought we were friends. We were friends. Do you think we'd be friends with someone who eats from the garbage? Ben is never going to even look at you again. <laughs> you don't know that. He's not evil like you guys. Well, he's coming this way. Let's see how he reacts knowing he kissed something that ate from the trash. <laughs> <laughs> What are you all laughing about? Look at this. Huh? What? Isn't that Beatrix's dad? Yep, that's terrible. Why didn't she tell me she was struggling? I could help if she'd like. What? Why would you help her? She's gross. She eats from the trash. Ew. It's not her fault she doesn't have enough money. How can you call her gross? Because she's poor. Louise, you're supposed to be your best friend. Ugh. All your personalities are gross. I'm going to go find her. No, she said she never wanted to see you again. And she cheated on you with some guy. You're lying. Fine, then go ask her. She won't respond. <laughs> Hi, honey. <laughs> I got you some dinner since you were hungry this morning. Who do you got from the trash? What? Why are you crying? There was a video of you looking for food in the trash. Everyone saw it and made fun of me. I was the laughing stock of the whole school. No one will be my friend again. I don't want that stupid food. <sighs> she deserves a good meal once in a while. Maybe I could ask someone if they have money for food. <laughs> I was so angry and sad. I cried for what felt like hours. And then I guess I passed out. Next day. Uh, what? Can I help you, officer? Is your father, Drew Stewart? Yes. Where is he? He has been found passed away this morning. <gasps> Further investigation suggests by a car accident. What? No, this can't be true. He was here just yesterday, and I yelled at him for trying to give me food. How did this happen? This doesn't feel real. And the last time we spoke, I was angry at him. I 
couldn't lose him. Not like this. Ugh. Less than a week later, I was kicked out of our home since I had no money to pay rent. I was left to fend for myself. I was homeless and walked around the streets for about a month. I was empty. Three months later, eventually I found a job in some restaurant. Although the pay was low, it was the only job I could get. It was relatively good since I was allowed to eat any leftovers. The manager even let me stay in one of the rooms in the back of the shop. <sighs> The next day, I received a letter saying I had to go to school or I'd receive a fine. Great, just what I need. I have to see all those mean faces again, and I can't do anything about it. You look like an absolute mess, but what can I do? Uh... <gasps> Beatrix! <gasps> Wait, please! Where have you been? Don't touch me! Get away from me and go to your stupid friends! You didn't want to speak to me before. Why do you want to speak to me now? <laughs> I guess Paris was right. <laughs> huh? So, you decided to return? We were all doing great without you. Why do you have to come back? It wasn't a choice. I had to. Do you go in hiding after people found out you were a poor slob? Actually, my dad passed away. Is that why you look so gross and depressed? Gosh, just because you're sad doesn't mean you shouldn't clean up. Ew. I was homeless. I was starving and had to sleep on the streets. While you sat in there in your fancy house and laughed. We're going to class. If you want to sit anywhere near us, make sure to take a long shower first. Dad wouldn't be proud. <laughs> Despite everything that went on, I somehow managed to survive the whole day. Ugh. Great. I have a ton of homework. I need to get this done in three hours somehow so I can eat the leftovers before they're taken away. Well, gotta get started. Finally! The answers are probably all wrong, but oh well. I never had time to study over the period my dad passed away. I don't know what I'm going to do. I should go eat before the leftovers are thrown out. Boss? Oh, hi. I was just going to take some of the leftovers to eat. That's fine. But I'd like to speak with you first. You told me you'd be leaving the spare room at the back once you found somewhere to go. It's been almost four months now and you still haven't left. I, I still haven't sorted out somewhere to go just yet. I just need a few extra weeks. You said that last time. I'm sorry, but you have to go by today. <gasps> I'm not trying to kick you out or anything, but I need that room for storage. You have until 12 a.m. to pack up your things and find somewhere else to stay. But I have nowhere to go. I'm homeless. That's not my problem. Oh, and where were you during your shift today? You weren't even here and I had nobody to serve the customer. I had to go to school. I received a letter today. If I don't, I'll be fine. I'm getting sick of your attitude and problems. <gasps> First, you live in my property for four months. Then you don't even show up for work. I also heard you threw a drink at one of my best customers. Well, um, in my defense, they refused to tip me. So you go and throw a drink at them? Well, I didn't throw it. I lightly spilt it. This is getting ridiculous. I'm sorry, Beatrix, but you're fired. Uh, no, please. This is the only way I'm able to feed myself. I'm sorry, but you're just letting my restaurant down. Pack up your things and go. Uh, Don't come back here either. The next week was insanely tough. I was sleep deprived and had nowhere to go. The only way I could eat was if I found someone's leftovers at a restaurant. I felt so empty. I didn't understand the purpose of anything anymore. Uh... Beatrix? Dad? I'm here, sweetheart. Uh, Monday, 8.32 a.m. Huh? Yeah, I'm what are you doing? Oh, sorry. I was just watching my kid go to school. Okay. I'm really worried for them. Ugh. Now I have to listen to this old lady's life story. I have to leave the country for two months for a business deal. And at the same time, my maid is going on maternity leave for six months. No one will be there to clean the house, feed the pets, and I know my child most certainly won't be okay. It would be a miracle if someone would be our maid at the last minute. I'd pay them anything. Anything? Well, I just got fired from my job yesterday. I could do the job. Really? Yeah, I could go to this school too, so I could walk your kid to school if you'd like. That would be great. When? But as soon as she started going on about the job, I realized something. I'm homeless. I need the job to include housing since I'm too young to get somewhere alone. I'm sorry, but I just realized I don't think this job is for me. I need a job that provides housing because I'm homeless right now. You can stay in one of our guest rooms. You'll be allowed to eat the food in the fridge. You'll be paid $20 an hour. <gasps> really? Everything she was saying sounded incredible. I'll take it. Great. I'll pick you up after school here so I can show you around the house. See you then. <laughs>
Oh, oh. Next time, watch where you're going. Ugh, why won't you guys just leave me alone? Is your life so boring that you have to just pick on people? Paris, are you coming? Huh? Coming! Babe! <laughs> <laughs> They're dating? What did I expect? Two mean people. They're perfect for each other. It never mattered to him at all. Paris and Louise are never going to stop bothering me about how poor I am either. Wait, who is that woman's kid? What if I have to be the maid for Paris or Louise? I can't take the job. I'll be made fun of all day every day. But I'm homeless. I have to. I have no choice. <laughs> After school, I waited for around 15 minutes and no one showed up. What if she was just lying? I knew this was too good to be true. I guess I should go look for where I can spend the night. Sorry for being a little late. <laughs> I had to go to the gas station on the way to school. Are you ready to go? Isn't your kid going to come with us? No, they'll meet us at the house. Here we are. This is my house. Whoa. This is the hallway. Whoa. What? This is the upstairs living room. Whoa! Every room left me speechless. Even if they weren't rooms, I was left speechless. Well, that's all of the house. Are you happy staying here? Yes! That's great. You can start working next week then. See you tomorrow then. Why didn't you pick me up from school? Ugh, because I was taking our new maid to see the house. You have legs, you know. Ugh. What? Well, hun, this is my son, Ben. I see you two met. Yeah, I'll see you next week. Ah, I knew this was all too good to be true. I can't even imagine what Louise and Paris will do if they find out I'm a maid for Ben. I need to take the job anyway. I can't stay homeless forever. The week flew by quickly. Soon, it was the first day of work. The first day of being a maid for Ben. Uh, 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 aw, looks like you still haven't been able to take a shower. I think I know what I can do. Uh, get away from me. You're going to regret that. I will ruin your life and no one will be there to protect you. No one cares about you. Everyone cares about me. No one cares about you. Just look. Hey, Ben. Sorry, but I'd like to speak to Beatrix. Do you want to walk home together? Why? Uh, never mind. Yes, let's go. <laughs> and this is your bedroom. <gasps> it's beautiful. Your spare clothes in the drawers and your own bathroom by the side. Thanks. You can go. <gasps> I feel great. Now I just want to sleep. Wait, uh, I have a job. I'm a maid. I can't just sleep. Uh, sorry for being late. What chores do I have to do? Uh, My mom only said you had to sweep the floor tonight. Also, can we speak when you're done? I've been wanting to speak to you for a while. He goes and dates my ex-best friend and he wants to speak to me? Keep it cool. He's technically your boss now. I'll just keep cleaning until he gets tired and goes to bed. Sure. <laughs> 10 minutes later. <laughs> 30 minutes later. <laughs> one hour later. <sighs> it's working. Two hours later. Yes, now I can go to sleep. Beatrix, are you done? Uh, no, still sweeping. I can help if you'd like. No, uh, no, this is my job, but thank you. I should probably just go to bed. Are you trying to avoid speaking to me? What? Don't lie. I just want to know what happened between us. You randomly started ignoring me and didn't want to talk to me. Is he serious? He's the one who sided with the mean girls. Don't act like you don't know what you did. I really don't. Instead, I was told you cheated on me. You know what? Since he's dating my ex-friend, I'll make him mad too. Yes, I did cheat on you. Now you can be heartbroken like I was. Ugh, what? I knew I shouldn't have said that. I immediately regretted it. But what I didn't know was the chaos that would happen because of what I said. The next day... Ooh, what is that loud music? <laughs> what is happening in here? I just had some fun with my guitar. By having fun, does that mean you smash your guitar into everything? Yes. Oh, yes, you have to clean up now. Bye. Oh, how about these? Uh, find some other ones. Oh, you didn't even look. So, bring out some other pile of books. I've already brought out 50 piles of books. Okay, bring out more. Oh, wait, so she's basically your servant. What a loser. A poor homeless servant. Ha <laughs> ha. Don't talk about her like that. What? She's just some dumb girl. She's a person and she's nice and kind. If she's so nice, then why are you treating her like that? And don't forget the fact that she cheated on you. Oh my gosh. Oh, look, the maid's here. Hey, get us a drink, will you? No, I most certainly will not. You can get out though. Hey, last time I checked, you don't own the place. I do. No, you don't. Your mother does and she's going to fire me. Don't blame 
it on him. It's not his fault you can't do anything right. Once his mother sees what happened, she's going to fire me. I'm going to be homeless again. <laughs> Please, wait. Why are you doing this to me? I've never done anything to you. Yes, you did. You cheated on me. Is all of this because of that? Because I told you I cheated? I only said that so you'd feel heartbroken like I was. My dad passed away. I was homeless. My best friends turned on me. I had to sleep on the street. And what did you do? Become friends with Paris and Louise and not bother to find out if I was okay or not. You broke my heart into a million pieces, so I wanted to do the same back. <laughs> now your mom's going to fire me, and I'm gonna be homeless again. You didn't even know I went through all of that, did you? But Paris and Louise told me you cheated on me, and that you didn't want to speak to me ever again, and you took their word for it? You never bothered to find out the real reason or check up on me? Uh, I'm sorry. No, you've done enough. Not only didn't you care when I lost my dad and ended up homeless, you also started dating my enemy, Paris! What? I'm not dating Paris! Whatever. Make up all the lives you like. Now, because of you, I'm going to be homeless again. Thank you so much! Bye! Ugh. Turn off the music and get out of my house! And you, Paris, why would you tell Beatrix we're dating? Because we will be dating soon, and now you like me. I'd be blind to date you! I'd rather date a cow instead! All of you, get out! Oh, man. Oh, this life was too good for me. Ugh. Ugh, I fell asleep on the floor. I wonder what Ben has done this time. Huh? Breakfast is ready. Don't ask why there's chicken wings. I'm not great at making other stuff. What? The... Let me escort you over to breakfast, milady. You realize I'm supposed to be the maid, right? I can help out if I want, you know? Mm hmm. Pass me the chicken wings! The following next days, Ben was very, very nice to me. Ben, we're gonna be late! Just wanna make sure you're okay! Let's go! That movie isn't even scary! Yeah, totally! She's scared? Okay, when I said I was scared, I didn't mean this scared. I'm just making sure you're okay. Wait, are you trying to buy your way into making me forgive you for what you did? What? Uh, of course not. I'm doing this because I love you. Uh, oh, I still need time. I don't know if I can ever forgive you. That's okay. Oh, uh, wait. The next day. Oh, it's Ben. He's so cute when he's sleeping. Wait, what am I saying? Ah, I can't fall for him. Don't forget what you did. Beatrix, did you wake up? Can you get dressed? I want to take you out somewhere. Don't look just yet. Now you can look. Huh? Why are we here? I found out you weren't able to give your father a grave since you were struggling with money. You deserve to have a grave to your father. So I paid to find a way to give him the grave he deserves. <gasps> now he can rest in peace and you can visit him whenever you'd like. <sighs> Are you okay? This was probably a horrible surprise. Uh, I'm sorry. No one has ever done something like this for me before. Thank you. I feel bad I wasn't able to get him a grave for so long. It's not your fault. You tried your best to do everything for him. Your father would be proud. A few days later. Ugh, it's Monday. Great. I hate school. Are you sure you're okay? Uh, yes. You do realize I'm your maid, not the other way around, right? Sorry. I'm going to get my books. I'll be back. So, I see you're the maid to her now. What happened to you? You've downgraded so much. You could have had me over her. Exactly. So I took her as quick as I could. She's the best person I could have ever asked for. She's not materialistic like you. She would love me regardless if I was rich or not. If I lost my money right now, would you still like me? Let go. <laughs> Why? I heard what you said. And you said you loved me. I do too. I love you, Ben. He was the reason why I was able to experience happiness again. And a few years later, he proposed to me. <gasps> yes! I finally felt like myself again. He helped me find myself again. And although my dad wasn't physically there to see the moment or see me get married, I knew he was watching me from somewhere, looking down on me from heaven. And he was finally reunited with his true love too. My mother.